In this episode of How To Metrology, we're going to talk about how to install a ProBrack on your Zeiss CMM that uses a vast XXT sensor. You're going to need a few things. First, you'll need a tool rack, you'll need the changer bay, you'll need a calibration sphere, you'll need the hardware for mounting the rack to the table, and then you'll also need a master probe. Every machine comes with a master probe. Your master probe has a red collar around the stylus and the master probe adapter plate typically has red painted dots on the side of it. To begin with, you're going to create a stylus system with the master probe and give it a name, a name such as ProBrac. First stylus in the system should be qualified with the angles 90 and 0. The second stylus in the system should be qualified with the angles 180 and 0. Make sure the stylus systems that you create are active. Then you're going to begin a new measurement plan, sometimes called a program. Don't set up a base alignment or any clearance planes. The reason is your probe rack is going to be relative to machine coordinates, so you cannot set up a base alignment or clearance planes when you start your new measurement plan. So now that you've qualified your styli and you've begun your new measurement plan, you're going to begin by taking points. Make sure the probe is at position 180 and 0, and you'll take your first point on the left side of the machine, and you'll take a second point on the right side of the machine. The process of probing points on the left and right side of the tool rack are going to be used to square the tool rack. So create a simple distance characteristic between the two points you just measured. Make sure the distance between the y in the y direction is 0 0.04 or smaller. If it's greater, loosen your hardware, adjust the tool rack, retighten the hardware, and repeat this process of probing a point on the left and right side and creating that simple distance in the y direction. Now make sure the stylus system you created, the first one, is active. That's the one at 90, 0. From there, you're going to go to the CNC stylus system change. You're going to define the probe length. At this point, you'll click through the prompts. The next step in the process is determining the length of your probe. To do that, we're going to probe the corner of the tool bay. You'll first probe the corner of the tool bay with the adapter plate, and you'll probe this outer edge of the adapter plate. Be careful you don't use or make contact with the tab or with the surface near the center of the adapter plate, but use the outer edge of the adapter plate to make contact with the corner of the tool changer. Once you've probed it using the adapter plate, you'll raise the stylus and take a point in the same location with the ruby. This process again determines the length of your stylus. The length of the stylus should be between 35 and 36 millimeters. You'll left mouse click on the far left holder. It should align green. If it's orange, the tool rack is never aligned. Next, we're going to define the location of the tool bay or the tool holder. To do this, click on Define Holder Location. A window will appear to overwrite the stylus system holder. This window does not appear if the holder was never aligned. If you don't have a holder, it will add this to your screen. Click OK. Once you've clicked on that, you're going to use the master probe to probe over a dimple that's approximately five millimeters. To add an additional stylus system holder, simply go to CNC Stylus System Change, click on the drop down by Edit, choose Add Stylus System Holder, select XXT for the holder type. Enter a name for the new holder group. You can repeat this process for each additional probe stylus changer you have on the rack. 
Thanks for watching this episode of How To Metrology. Hopefully you've learned how to install the ProBrac on a Zeiss CMM with a vast XXT scanning sensor. If you've got any needs for probe tooling or accessories, please check out our website. And in the future, keep watching our videos.